Hi, so I just wanted to make this video today about uh, how I felt the last two years during the Covid pandemic. Uh, I'm finally going home in just over a week to visit my family and friends in the UK. And I just wanted to make this video for myself um, to record how I felt during the last two years and how it's been because one day my memories will start to fade and I just want to have this documented about how it's been during Covid uh, without having a single family member uh, in the same country as me and just how stressful it's been. So to get started maybe I'll go back to the beginning of 2020 to January. Um, I started it, I had two of my close friends actually visiting from Birmingham, they were staying with me here in Selfos uh, for New Year's. So the first few days I was with my friends, uh, then a few weeks after it was my birthday and after my birthday my great aunt and uncle uh, actually came to Iceland so they visited Selfos for a day and we had lunch and I knew that I was going to see them a couple of weeks after when I was going to the UK. Uh, I normally go back to Birmingham in January for my birthday but that year in 2020 I had delayed my trip by a couple of weeks because it was my nan's 80th birthday and also my friend's son's first birthday and they had parties on the same day and I wanted to be at those parties. So I didn't go home in January but I did go home in the middle of February just for a few days. I think my trip was five days long but because of the direct flights not going to Birmingham I always travel uh, one day either side so it was three days in Birmingham really. Uh, and that trip almost got cancelled. There was a, a huge storm in Iceland and I did manage to get one of the last seats on an earlier flight uh, because the day that I was flying was the day that the storm was going to be happening. And I had a tip off from a friend that I worked with that the airport was going to be closed even though they hadn't announced it officially. And he ended up being right so it was very lucky that I think I got the second last seat on one of the last flights going to the UK from Iceland. Uh, so yeah, so I went there, I think it was the day before Valentine's Day and I stayed for, yeah, a few days. Uh, and I remember while I was there, I always stay with my nan. Me and my nan one morning were watching The Right Stuff, which is a British talk show in the mornings. Uh, and there was a debate about the coronavirus, which was like a new thing that I hadn't really heard of until I was in the UK. Uh, and it was meant to be a big thing in China. And the, I think there was two or three cases in the UK at that time. And the talk show was debating whether it was going to be a big thing or if people were scared. And the, I think it was mostly 50-50. People were very divided. Some people were very scared of it and some people thought it was going to be nothing and it would blow over in no time. And I remember me and my nan sitting and talking about it and both of us said oh, this is going to be nothing, like in a couple of months it will all be over and it's not going to be a big thing affecting the UK, or, you know, it's just happening in, in uh, the East but in the UK it's not going to be a problem and probably not in Europe either. And I think two weeks after that was when it started to get more serious and we had the first British death. Um, I don't think that death was in Britain, it was on the ship, uh, the Diamond, I can't remember the name of the ship, something Diamond. Um, it was the first British person that died from Covid and I think the first death within Britain was a couple of weeks after that maybe. But I think a month after I left uh, Birmingham from that trip, it was when the lockdowns in the UK started and it was shocking. Like, no one expected it to be as serious as it was. My mum and my aunt were actually planning to visit me in Iceland in March, so just just a month after my trip. And they couldn't come, they had to cancel their plans because the lockdowns <laughs> were going into effect um, and travel restrictions. We didn't have any lockdowns in Iceland. Uh, we did have a lot of restrictions, but we didn't have any proper lockdowns. But my work schedule for one month did change. I think it was April 2021. Um, the factory that I work at got split into two teams and we had like a red team and a blue team. And we started working every other day instead of a daily basis. Uh, and we did have to work longer hours to make up for that, but it was okay and the pay ended up being really good. Uh, we still got paid our standard 
wages plus overtime. So I think for one month I ended up getting about seven weeks wages which was really good. And at that time we were kind of hoping everything would be over by the autumn and I could go home and visit my family or they could come and visit me. Um, that never happened. <laughs> but that was the hope at the time. We thought it would just be this big pandemic for maybe a couple of months and then hopefully by the end of the year it will settle down again. Um, so I think in May, the beginning of May, I had a very stressful time. So obviously everything was very uncertain but we didn't think it was going to blow over. The beginning of May I was in a car accident um, with my best friend at the time. My boyfriend was driving. Uh, it wasn't a major car accident but it was still very scary. So adding that onto the stress of not being able to see my family, it was difficult. A few days after that uh, I broke up with my boyfriend that I lived with and going through that uh, without any certainty of where to go because I don't have any family here and yeah my friends I have good friends here but during Covid you know the social distancing and it was difficult to know what to do in that situation. I was very lucky to find this apartment the same week and I managed to move out the same week uh, but again another very stressful time and also I think it was the beginning of June I started my driving lessons <laughs> which I still haven't got my driving license but I'm coming very close to it I think I'm gonna mock my theory hopefully in the next few weeks and hopefully I'll have my full license by the end of the year um, yeah so I, was, I had a lot going on in my life near the start of this pandemic um, and then in June and July I had my first uh, Suma free, which is the summer holiday we get from work every year. First time I've ever been entitled to that in Iceland, because I always started a new job in the summer and usually you have to work for a year before you're entitled to that holiday. I had five weeks in a row off work, which was amazing, and it gave me time to settle into my apartment and move and that was great. But the first time I've had that amount of time off work and I couldn't go abroad, I couldn't go and see my family because there were border restrictions and the UK was closed to us. Um, and ironically, I think a week or two after I returned to work, the UK opened its borders to Iceland. <laughs> but I missed the chance to go. And at that time it was clear that things weren't going to be going back to normal during the autumn, but we were hoping maybe the winter and maybe I could go home for Christmas or for my birthday, like usual. Uh, again, that never happened. <laughs> um, I did start a new relationship in the summer, which was nice. Um, and we did do a lot of travelling within Iceland that summer, which was great. That was the most I've ever travelled within the country. Uh, three years after I arrived, <laughs> it's the furthest I'd been. We went to Jokulsalon, which is the glacier lagoon and we also went to West Iceland and uh, went to Borgones and Grundafjöðu which is yeah just west, <laughs> nice place. Um, so I did a lot of travelling within the country last summer which was really nice and I ended up making a magazine with all pictures from my summer adventures and like captions to send to my nan and my mom who don't have social media and I also asked them to pass it on to my aunt uh, so she could see as well and it was just kind of a way to try and still feel connected with my family when I was so far away because it's very weird I feel very disconnected from anyone in the UK right now because it's been so long since the last time I saw them so I was last in the UK in February 2020 uh, I'm going home like in just over a week so it'll be October 2021 so it'll be 20 months since I was last with any of my family and friends and actually I haven't seen my dad since October 2019 which was the last trip before that trip uh, so it's been two years since I've seen my dad two years since I've seen some of my friends and some of my family and it is so weird to have this much of a gap between seeing people back home um, yeah, really strange, I feel very disconnected from everyone, um, it's been really frustrating because I really wanted to go 
back to visit people and it's horrible having this uncertainty of not knowing when I'll get the chance to see my family and friends again. Um, luckily I haven't lost anyone due to the virus and I haven't lost anyone during this time which I'm very grateful for but it's still so stressful and so frustrating um, I've been getting incredibly homesick like so bad on and off and I even had to take some time off work for that I was having like breakdowns at work um, there was one day that I remember maybe I can't remember five months ago maybe four months ago where I came into work and I think I lasted 15 minutes before I had to go home for the day because I was just uncontrollably crying and just felt horrific and it's just homesickness and frustration and uh, instability and I feel kind of hopeless about the situation right now I know it'll be over one day but it just seems like that day is never coming um, I have also been getting physically sick more often especially in the last year um, I don't know if it's just me taking symptoms more seriously because of Covid because I have a tendency to still go to work when I'm sick I'm not doing that right now but I always used to do that um, but I do feel like I've been getting physically sick more often than I used to and I don't know if that's just down to stress and just the mental health issues that come with being separated from um, your community for so long I've also been suffering from a bit of separation anxiety from my boyfriend which is very weird for me because I am usually very independent and like my own space but I get very upset and anxious if I'm separated from my boyfriend for too long at the moment which is weird and terrible um, we do work in the same company luckily we don't work in the same department and we try to have lunch and break together but we don't always get the chance to and what made that worse was a few months ago I went into the women's changing room and I was sitting by my locker and it's like a u-shaped changing room so the entrance is one side of the U and my locker is on the other side two women from his department came in and they didn't realise I was sitting there and they started bitching about how he tries to get lunch at the same time as me and how it would be nice if they could spend time with their partners but you know they don't work together and like we don't live together we're both busy people we don't really have as much time together as I think everyone feels we do in that company and yeah like I said I'm suffering from this weird separation anxiety at the moment so it's, it was hurtful to hear that actually and so I'm going home in just over a week I don't think any of these problems are going to be resolved with that trip I generally start to feel more homesick uh, right after a trip home than I do leading up to the trips um, I think because I just missed everyone so much and I always feel like I didn't have enough time with everyone I am going home for 10 days this time and there is a direct flight to Birmingham now which I'm using it's a new airline so I'm not sure how it all, it's going to be but we'll see how it goes um, yeah but I don't think any of these problems are going to resolve just from this trip I think all of these mental health issues um, will be resolving themselves when we have more certainty about the pandemic which is not going to be for a long time yet I don't think maybe a couple of years uh, when we have like open borders again or I say open borders like more freedom of travel without any restrictions and so right now I'm trying to book in for our Covid tests that we have to take before we get to the UK and after we uh, arrive in the UK and before we leave I've just read that there is some new rules coming into play on the day that we're leaving um, about not needing a Covid test to go to the UK before you board the plane but I still want to book one just to make sure because I don't want anything going wrong with this trip I don't want to be refused at the airport, I don't want anything to go wrong but honestly I haven't got my hopes up about this trip which sounds terrible I am just waiting for things to go wrong because it feels like things just keep going wrong right now yeah, so I don't fully trust the situation 
fingers crossed everything goes to plan and I get to go to the UK and finally see my family and friends because it's been so long and I really need this trip um, but we'll see what happens. I'm also running my business now which I started yeah, earlier this year <laughs> during the recession and the pandemic and living in a foreign country it's perfect timing to start a business. Um, I also have a lot of things to get finished, a lot of jewellery orders and repairs for people um, and I feel like I don't have a lot of time to do that at the moment because I work full time and I'm exhausted after work and I just feel like there's not enough time to get everything finished that I need to get finished before I leave for the UK which is really stressful. I'm going to ask if I can have an extra couple of days off work this week, um, I saw the schedule for next week we don't have any production on Thursday and Friday so I, I'm going to ask if it's possible to have those two days off but I'm not 100% certain just to try and catch up on what I'm doing um, but yeah we'll see how it goes and I really hope I get to go to the UK like next week or the week after um, and I hope that I can spend some more time in the UK next summer when I have a lot of holiday off work again um, this will actually be my first proper holiday from work this year. I've had like odd days off but I haven't taken like a full week off work in annual leave. Um, so I've got two weeks off and this will be my only two weeks for the whole year. I was entitled to six weeks but instead I'm taking two weeks in January and two weeks in March and then I'll have five or six weeks next year too. So this year I get uh, two weeks off work and next year I potentially have ten weeks off which will be great um, yeah but I hope I get to spend more time going to the UK next year and also just going abroad I really want to travel I want to go on holiday to some other places I, I miss traveling a lot it's important to me so yeah we'll see what happens next year and like I said this video was just for me to have a record of what's been going on during the Covid pandemic Okay, bye.